Okay, so what we've done is we've taken some masking tape and then we just layer it all on uh, at different angles to get it in nice and tight and then we start peeling it off. And then we're going to take this uh, tape here and put it onto a pattern and then yeah, we'll have a pattern that we can use time and time again to cut our carbon fiber. So the templates are now made up and we have our bottom section which is BC1, BC2, BC3, we have our top sections which is NC1, uh, NCO2 and then obviously NC3. Then we have our template for our core, we then have our template for our flange and um, all of these these plies will all be going in a very specific direction and I'm going to go get the ply um, schedule now and then we're going to start making them so let's see where it goes to so all the carbons now cut and we've got it all in 45 minus 45 and 90 ran out of space it's a more working area um, we are now going to cut the core uh, this is for the back flange and then there are two thin pieces of core um, as supports down each side down yeah, down this side and down that side and that side and that side and once we put the two together we'll sandwich that core to keep the two halves
Okay, so we're using a PVC uh, Marcel 80 core. And the idea behind this is that once there's an impact, the um, direction of the carbon fiber and the core as a combination of strength will prevent the cone from crumpling completely. So we're not expecting to have any forces close to a Formula One car, uh, or even an Indy car for that matter. And so really what we're gonna do is we've tested it and this gives us quite a high shear strength and a tensile strength. Um, so we're gonna try this and see how it works. Uh, just a tip when working with it, this is what it looks like cut pre the uh, shaping. Always try and shape the edges so that once you put it into your infusion process, it's able to, um, the fabric's able to drape nicely around the corners. Um, those of you that know your core will know that this is not an infusion core. So we'll be drilling the holes and creating the lines quickly with the routing machine. Um, we just don't uh, have core here on hand. It's an infusion core. Okay, so we've got our core, made some slots, built it up correctly, got the last layers, and that's where our corner to crash structure will go in. So this is now, if there's a huge accident, this is the last barrier of defense before it starts getting to the tub.
Alright guys, so this is the uh, back section of the nose cone or the crash structure or whatever you want to call it. Um, so here's obviously getting ready to do the infusion. Um, we're just mainly checking now for leaks or anything like that. That will obviously move a little bit closer. So we get that run. And that's it.